Let's take the first question. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ayman. I am a student and I am from Kashmir. Are there any situations in which backbiting is allowed in Islam? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Hujura, chapter number 49, verse number 12. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu jitanibu kathiran min al-dhan inna ba'd al-dhan ithm. O you who believe, avoid suspicion, for suspicion in most cases is a sin. وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا And do not spy on each other. And do not backbite each other. أَيُحِبُّ أَحَدُكُمْ أَنْ يَأْكُلْ لَحْمَ أَخِيهِ مَيْتًا فَكَرِهْتُمُوهُ Would any of you like to eat the meat of your dead brother? You would deny it. So backbiting, it is prohibited in Islam. But there are certain situations in which the scholars they have said that backbiting it is permitted. And inshallah I will discuss six situations in which backbiting it is permitted. The first is that when you're complaining regarding someone, if someone has done something bad to you, if he has robbed you, if he has cheated you, if he has lied to you, so you complain to the ruler or to the judge regarding this person. So in this situation backbiting it is permitted. The second is warning the people regarding a particular person. For example, someone is involved in robbing, in cheating, in deceiving. He's involved in something that is a bidah. He's involved in shirk. So you warn the people to stay away from such a person. The third is inquiring regarding someone. For example, if you want to do business with someone, so you inquire regarding this person, regarding his character, whether his character is good or no, whether he's involved in cheating, if he's an honest person, because you are going to deal with this person. So you inquire regarding this person. You inquire regarding a dai, for example, if you want to listen to him, if you want to gain knowledge from him. So you inquire whether this dai, he is on the Quran and Sunnah, He's following the Quran and Sunnah or no. You inquire regarding a scholar if he is on the correct Aqeedah, if he's following the Quran and Sunnah or no. So when you want to inquire regarding someone and if you want, for example, your sister, she wants to get married and you come across a person and you want to inquire regarding his character, whether he's good or no, whether you offer Salah, whether he cheats, whether he's a good person, whether he's a bad person, whether he smokes, etc. Because your sister is going to get married to this person. So you need to inquire regarding the negative traits, regarding the character of this person. So in these situations, backbiting, it is permitted. The fourth is that you warn the people regarding a public figure. For example, if a public figure he is involved in something that is haram. He is involved in some bidah. He is promoting shirk. So you warn the people that they should stay away from this person. And the fifth is that you ask a scholar regarding someone. For example, you have a family dispute. You have a family argument. So you ask the scholar regarding this person. So you ask the scholar a fatwa or an opinion regarding this family dispute and you need to explain the family dispute so you need to mention the bad things or the bad points that this person has done to you so in this situation backbiting it is permitted the sixth when the judge asks you regarding a person and you need to speak the truth regarding a witness for example is this witness a good person is his character good is he honest so you need to speak the truth if this witness is his character good or is his character bad? So in these situations, backbiting, it is permitted. So there are six situations in which backbiting, it is permitted. The first is when you want to complain regarding someone, if he's done something bad to you. The second is warning the people regarding someone, if he's involved in something bad, if he's a robber, if he's a cheater, if he's involved in some bidah, if he's involved in shirk. The third is inquiring regarding someone. The fourth is when the judge asks you, regarding someone for example a witness so you tell regarding this person the fifth is 
warning the people regarding a public figure if he's involved in something bad or if he's promoting some bidda or something that is involving into shirk and the sixth is asking a scholar regarding a family dispute or any opinion asking his fatwa so in these situations backbiting it is permitted